you know, it does, doesn't matter how old you are, uh, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, does mean something to you. She's been the one consistent throughout so much change globally. We wanted to do something um, physical. This garden is a, you know, a physical embodiment of, 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 of Her Majesty in many respects. And we, we, we knew that in, in, in London, for example, there would be an outpouring of love, support, mourning, respects outside Buckingham Palace. So we felt that, that this is the, the embodiment of that. And we wanted to create a platform for people to come and, and pay their respects in, in whatever way they, they felt appropriate. So, you know, there are other leaders that have moments in time, uh, you know, politicians, they're never in power for this long. You know, they have moments, they may have a decade, they may define a certain period of time. She's defined, you know, so many generations, so many people, so many countries. She embodied so many things, but you know, dignity, strength, and um, and leadership. You know, and she's she's the, the the leader and the role model that I think we should all strive to be. Yeah, it's sad, but also um, quite nice that she uh, grew so old. And um, yeah, we're I think, I think uh, seven decades of monarchy. Yeah, so it's quite a huge. Well, I was born in England, um, but I don't have that many memories, but my parents definitely do. And they speak very fondly of the Queen and, and uh, have a lot of memories um, of the year I was born um, because it was the Queen's Jubilee. 